The St. Kitts and Nevis Director of Public Prosecution, Valston Graham, is rejecting notions that his intervention in bribery suits brought by Labour candidate Dr. Terence Drew against PAM candidate Mr. Eugene Hamilton is politically motivated or otherwise tainted. According to DPP Graham, his intervention is according to the Constitution of St. Kitts and Nevis and to ensure that proper procedure is followed in what is a criminal matter involving bribery allegations against an elected official. A post appearing on Facebook page of the Sinkis Nevis Labour Party claims that the actions of the DPP to take over the case brings into question issues of ethics and bias, since the DPP himself confirmed that he's a friend of Deputy Prime Minister Sean Richards, the leader of the People's Action Movement, PAM, the same political party of Defendant and Minister of Government Eugene Hamilton. At a press briefing on the 25th February, DPP Graham did confirm he is a friend of Sean Richards, but said he also has friends who are affiliated with the Labour Party. The Director of Public Prosecution explains his actions. I am not no political um, pundit. In fact, I don't like politics, period. Do I have friends, uh, political friends? On both sides of the aisles, I do. Like, all, like we all do. I do not make decisions based on political wishes or, or, polit or political pulls. When, they, when sections of the media and other persons called on me to charge um, the former Prime Minister and leader, former leader of the opposition, Dr. Dennis Douglas, with a passport issue, I did not budge. I did not think it was in the public interest to do so. I discontinued two weeks ago a case against Leon Nathan Nelson because I thought it was the right thing to do. Now I don't hear, I, I am not seeing the, the clamor of Facebook pundits and people who are going around and, and saying, I am Labour. Because I'm not Labour. Neither am I Pam. No unity. I am simply a public servant doing the best that he can do. Simple as that. Now, the future of the matter rests in the hands of, of, of Dr. Drew and his attorney. I have asked them to provide me with the evidence that they have. Once they provide me that evidence, I will assess it. And I will make a determination as to whether or not that particular prosecution go forward or whether or not his, the evidence revealed there is a greater need for me to ask the Commissioner of Police to make a more widespread investigation into any allegations of bribery that might have occurred in the 2020 elections. And I have no difficulty in doing that because I have no horse in those rings. So what the purpose of me calling here today is to simply to dispel any suggestion whatsoever that my taking of the matter has anything, any, anything to do with being a political ally of Pam, Sean Richards, or Eugene Hamilton. Pam is a political party, of which I'm not a member. Is Sean Richards my friend? Yes. Eugene Hamilton is not my friend. I don't know the guy from, uh, from Adam, except from, from him being a member of the House of the National Assembly. How does it look? In, a in an independent federation, where there's a director of public prosecution, that an allegation of bribery against an elected official is being played out in the criminal courts, and the, the director of public prosecution just sit idly by and say, let me see how this play out. It can't be. My intervention is simply to ensure that the matter has proper superintendence and proper disposition. Nothing more. Notwithstanding media comments of the DPP, the Labour Party Facebook post suggests their uncertainty that the DPP can be unbiased in the case. Glenn Bart, SK Newsline.